welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here then my name is Vicky and I do lots of food content on this channel including shopping hauls which is what I've got for you today so I've been to Tesco and what I'm going to do is take through everything I've bought and then at the end I will let you know my meal plan for next week and how much I spent. It's definitely a big haul this week. I was out of absolutely everything. My cupboards were bare. So after the summer I've just really got out of the routine of shopping and keeping everything stocked up. So we were out of all our tins, all our bread. I didn't have bread in the freezer. Um, lots of washing liquid and things like that. So like I said, I'll take you through everything I've bought. Before we get started, I just want to say a massive happy birthday for Sunday to Melissa. Um, Melissa has been a subscriber for a long time and she regularly watches my videos and really enjoys them. Sorry if you can hear the dogs, they're deciding to have a little tussle in the background. So Melissa, hopefully you are watching this one. Hope you have an amazing day on Sunday and get thoroughly spoiled and looked after. With that being said, let's take a look at what I bought. So as you can see, it's quite a big lot of shopping, like a back to school stock up. So I'll start as always with the fresh fruit and veg. We've got some Nightingale Farms peppers. These were really cheap, I think they were 82p and there are four, there's five peppers in there. So I'll just roast those. I got some Pink Lady apples and some Rose Dean Farm, like small apples. Pink Ladies were on offer for £2.10 and these Rose Dean Farm were 59p and they are quite small but they're ideal for like Oscar on the way home from school if he doesn't want like a big apple. I got two lots of tender stem broccoli tips, some white onions or brown onions. I got some finest red seedless grapes because these were on offer at £1.50 so they worked out a good price. Some sweet easy peelers, these were a pound and you know when they just look nice, like they just look like they're going to peel nicely and they look really fresh, so I've got some of those. Courgettes are 80p, there's three in there and I'm just going to roast those as well. I'm going to try and get back into having more roasted vegetables in place of things like the pastas and the rices and potato and all that kind of thing. Uh, I've got some pears, again these were really cheap, I think they're about 60p and there are five in there. So Maris Piper potatoes, these were just the best of a bad bunch really. Tesco aren't doing great with their potatoes at the moment. Um, but yeah, I thought Maris Pipers, they look okay. So that, I think these were about £1.20. I got some red onions because I'm going to... Oh no! Because I'm going to be making red onion and goat's cheese pizzas. <laughs> I just realised I forgot the goat's cheese. But we're going to have red onion pizzas. <laughs> oh really? Oh you know when you just think, never mind. So yeah, I've got some red onions for the non-existent goat's cheese pizzas. I've got some mushrooms, some romaine heart lettuce, two butternut squash, which I'm going to have as butternut squash chips. We'll just do those in the oven and they're just a really good alternative to proper like potato chips. Two cucumbers and that is it for the fresh fruit and veg we've still got so many tomatoes in the fridge that my neighbor grows and gives to us so we didn't need any tomatoes um, we've got a couple of apples and um, what else have we got lots and lots of frozen um, fruit that's what i was going to say we've got lots of berries we've got a melon and like pineapple and mango mix and we've also got what else have we got frozen fruit wise oh lots of like frozen banana and things as well so I bought some yogurt and I thought we could have some like fruit and yogurt for breakfast. I got two lots of pork mince. This is the 5% fat. I'm going to make some pork and feta meatballs. I got two lots of chicken because I'm going to be making some pizza tops chicken and a katsu chicken curry, which is what I bought these panko breadcrumbs. I wanted Tesco's own, but they didn't have them. So these were two pound, but I'm going to be basically making like that. I put in a katsu, homemade katsu curry sauce and I'm going to make that with a honey coconut rice. Um, I've seen it in a cookbook recently, I don't know if it's Pinch of Nom maybe. Yeah, I downloaded that from my Libby app, it might have been on Pinterest. But anyway, I'm going to be making that one and that will be in an upcoming Meals of the Week video. So lunchbox kind of wise, I got some cheese strings, some red Leicester slices and some Emmental. These were two for three pounds. I got some feta to go in the meatballs and I might put some fennel in as well or some tarragon. I got some of these cheese and bacon sausage rolls, these were a pound. Some extra mature cheddar and some wafer thin chicken. The cheddar was £2.50 and the chicken was £2, both on like the club card deal, great for sandwiches and things. 
I've got two lots of refrigerators which are six packs for a pound at the moment and they're just really nice little picky lunch items some hot pepper armies they were on offer for two pound for five and some mini pepper armies as well i got some pepperoni pizza slices because Tesco have brought their sub rolls back, the ones I used to buy, the semolina dusted. They stopped doing them for a long time and they brought them back, which Oscar is going to be thrilled with because he absolutely loves that for a dinner. Um, I've got two lots of ready-to-eat smoked mackerel fillets. I'm going to be making a smoked mackerel and cheese plowmans. It sounds a bit weird, but Oscar went out with my mum and my sister for lunch in the summer holidays and they had a smoked mackerel plowmans. And we love plowman's lunches, so I'm going to be making one of those for all of us. Like I said, the cupboard was bare, so I needed to stock up on my tins. So I've got four tins of baked beans. These are just your regular Tesco beans, and they're £1 for four tins. Two tins of spaghetti rings, which are 13p a tin. And I've got some of these Italian peeled plum tomatoes. These are the vine ripened ones, and they were £1.50 for four tins. And I also got a tin of lentil and bacon soup for my lunch because I just really fancy soup even though it's one of the hottest days we've had so far. So unfortunately Tesco didn't really have any offers on washing liquid. I really need to get to home bargains and stock up. But I got one of these large bowl two-in-ones. This is 35 washes and it was £5.50. And then I got a conditioner which is the golden topaz as well. I got a big pack of pasta this is a kilo got some tomato ketchup some bonios for the dogs i got some light mayonnaise and some vinegar all of these things we've run out of some curry powder for the katsu curry i got four tins of princess tuna chunks some long grain boil in the bag rice i almost bought a microwave rice cooker today because I'm sure one of you guys commented and said that's a really easy way to cook rice and it was half price it was only five pound but I put it back so let me know in the comments if you've ever tried a microwave rice cooker and if they're any good I got some coconut milk to make the coconut rice to go with the katsu curry got some plain soya alternative to yogurt to have on fruit and things two lots of mousses for like after dinner treats and we always put these in the freezer that way you don't have to worry about the date because they last a lot longer and you just pop them in the microwave for five or ten seconds before you eat them so these are a pound for four and so were the aero ones i kind of went to town on the bread because we have no bread either and i've normally got a freezer full of like buns and wraps and rolls and but we didn't have anything so i got some of the sourdough crumpets which mine and steve's like favorite crumpets I've got two lots of tortilla wraps to make wrap pizzas without goat's cheese. I've got some chocolate chip brioche rolls and some pan au chocolat. These are just a really simple weekend breakfast. The sub rolls that they stopped doing and now they're doing again, these are the semolina dusted. Although, looking at them, I don't know if they can show up on camera, they don't look very semolina dusted. It's almost like they, <laughs> they ran out. They just look normal sub rolls. There's like the odd little sprinkle. But these are the ones we like anyway. So they're a pound for four, so I can make subs with those. Got some both together bread, some oven bottom muffins. These are like the nicest muffins. Well, they're just like rolls basically, but they're so soft, they're just really nice. Got some cracker bread, because I really like these for breakfast as well, with like egg on or some like cream cheese and cucumber. Two slow prepare, slow, <laughs> slow. Two of these stone baked oven baguettes. I just got these to go with the plowmans between the five of us. Crisp wires again out of everything. So I got six packs of quavers, they were 125. These are the porn cocktail ones. Some bites, you got six of those, they were only 90p for six packets. And then the French fries were two pound twenty-five for twelve. Some frosty bars and some raisin munch bars. Um, the shelves were pretty bare in Tesco, so there was quite a lot that wasn't stocked up. So I grabbed those two. I got some curly whirlies and some chewits. We've got no like snacky sweet stuff at all either. Some randoms, one pack each just for the boys for Friday night when we watch a movie or something. Got some gold bars. Yuck. <laughs> I really don't like gold bars, they just make me heave. Um, and some chocolate hazelnut spread Kit Kats, which I thought sounded quite good. And these two were a pound each. The randoms were 89p. Um, and the chewits and the curly whirlies were a pound as well, which I thought was quite good. 
I got a bottle of Australian Chardonnay, which was three ninety nine, and a bottle of Merlot, which was also three ninety nine. So that's quite good. Nice little weekend treat for me and Steve. Two lots of Vimto added sugar. No, no Vimto no added sugar. These are a pound on offer, and I really like them. A low calorie Indian tonic water, and some double strength tropical squash. Jake and Oscar both needed a new scientific calculator. I thought these were really good. They've got a cover on them, so you can like slide it off and cover them over. They were only six pound each, so thought that was good because the cheapest we could find them on Amazon was ten pound each. So I thought six pound was quite good. So they've got one of those each. I bought some more storage because we used a lot of the ones I've already bought for my kitchen organisation. You're probably all laughing to yourselves. I can't get them open. Um, we ended up using the ones I bought for that in our camper van. So I've bought some more. I have filmed half of that video, but summer happened and I haven't, I'm just going to be completely honest, I just haven't organised the rest of the kitchen. I've done some drawers and some the baking cup and I've labelled stuff. So there will be a video coming. It's still on its way, but so is Christmas. So I don't know which is going to get here first, but I need to do my spice cupboard and my sauce like ketchup and vinegar cupboard. So at condiments and then once I've done that I will put that video up but yeah I filmed the first part of it back in May I think May maybe April I don't know but it's coming one day I promise these are 150 instead of 350 so I've got four of those I got a big deodorant which was two pound some body wash which was a pound this new Pantene Pro V Miracles, this is like their new product from Pantene, but it's five pound and it was two pound fifty, so I thought we'd try that. And then I also got some of these Thai orchid refills for my Febreze thingy that goes in the wall. This is such a lovely scent. And this was four pound fifty for two. And that is everything I bought. And I spent £140, which is £20 over what I would normally maximum spend. But when you think I've got two scientific calculators, some storage, um, and like a stock up and washing liquid and things like that, I don't think that was too bad. Shopping just seems to be going up. The prices of things just seem a lot lately. But anyway, what I will do now is I will take you through my meal plan for next week. And if you are interested in seeing any of the meals, then they will be up in a future Meals of the Week video. So here is my meal plan for the week, if you can see it. I've got tonight, I'm going to do these smoked mackerel plowmans. So we'll have salad with that, probably pickled onions, chopped apple and the bread, and then some smoked mackerel and probably some sliced cheese. On Friday, I'm going to do the boys homemade subways. And then Steve and I are going to have wrap pizzas, although I haven't got the goat's cheese, I have got some garlic and herb cream cheese, so I might use that, and I've got loads of tomatoes that my neighbour gave me, so I might slow roast those in some balsamic vinegar and put those on as well, and some red onions and maybe chilli. On Saturday I'm going to make the pork and feta meatballs in a tomato -y sauce, and then I'm going to do that with some sort of vegetable on the side as well. Sunday I'm going to do the katsu curry with coconut and honey rice and tender stem broccoli. Monday I've got some corn in the freezer and I've got about five bags of four cauliflower rice. I just seem to keep buying it and we haven't eaten it for ages. So I'm going to do corn, cauliflower rice, roasted vegetables and then tin of tomato, smoked paprika, garlic, chilli. Mix it all together, it's really, really nice. Tuesday I'm going to do pizza topped chicken with butternut squash chips and probably some salad with that. And then on Wednesday we are going to have jacket potatoes with tuna, sweet corn and salad. So new recipes this week is the, well we haven't done a smoked mackerel plowman's before. And I've never made pork and feta meatballs, I've made pork and fennel. But now I've never put feta cheese in them, so that should be good. And the katsu curry I've never tried. So, like I said, these will all be in an upcoming Meals of the Week video. So that is my meal plan for next week. So that is it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do like this kind of content, then please make sure to go and click subscribe. I do one every single week along with Meals of the Week and all that other stuff. Go and have a look around in all the playlists that I'll leave linked down below. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. It is Victoria Folger. 
and we've also got Ziggy the VW camper van. Both of those will also be linked in the description box and I tend to post over there daily like more updates than I do on YouTube and give this video a like if you've enjoyed it and I hope Melissa you have a very very happy birthday on Sunday. Hope you have a lovely day and I'll be back really really soon with another video. Take care guys. Thank you.